In this video, we'll go over all of WoW's news from the past week and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. World's second mythic kill Jaden kill by Guild Exorcist. Apparently, it took them 962 attempts, as opposed to Method's 600 plus attempts. That is a ton of wipes, considering that Method's 600 plus attempts was also higher than normal. No wonder the guild complained on Twitter about Blizzard using them as free testers, since also this week, Mythic killed Jaden and Avatar nerfs. Both got hit with 5% less health nerfs, as well as a few other changes for Kill Jaden, including less damage from Illidan's sightless gaze and all difficulties, not just Mythic. Method released their Mythic Kill Jaden World First Kill video, link in the video description. It seems to be a little early though, as I thought guilds usually waited until 5 guilds had killed the final boss before releasing a kill video, but I guess they did it early this time. Or I might be wrong about that. Also, there's no hidden secret phase like with Mythic Gul'dan. The new dungeon, the Seat of the Triumvirat, I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that right, was released on the PTR recently. What's interesting about this Argus dungeon is that it's almost entirely void base, which is odd since it takes place on the Legion's homeworld. You'd expect nothing but more fell dungeons. More information on the Netherlight Crucible tiers was released. From what I can tell, it seems that you can upgrade the relics on your artifact weapon to give them special bonus abilities, in addition to their normal ones, on top of increasing their item level by 5. The bonus abilities aren't just more points to put in your artifact weapon, but different, unique ones, like having a chance to apply a dot, increasing a major stat plus one of your bonus stats, and doing damage that heals you, like the undead racial. The actual details for how all this works is still in the testing stages. Minor changes to four melee specs. Frost DKs and Ret Pallies got minor buffs, and Rogues of Warriors got nerfs to two of their legendaries each. It is notable that the four legendaries nerfed were all present on the players who were part of the World First Kill Jaden kill, which could have been part of the reason why five rogues and two warriors were brought along. Mione, who has attained many impressive solo kills in the past, managed to solo a plus 19 Court of Stars run. Of course, not within the time limit, but still impressive nonetheless, as this level of Mythic Plus is still considered current content. A link to the full video will be in the video description. The weekly dollar run quest and event is World Quests. 50% more reputation for all Broken Isle rep, plus completing 20 World Quests will grant you 5,000 Order Hall resources. If you need a bunch of rep or Order Hall resources on an alt, this week is the perfect time to go out and do stuff. The PvP brawl for this week is the Winter Arathi Basin again. I think this is the first repeat brawl since PvP brawls were introduced. AB is probably one of the most balanced battlegrounds in the game, so it's a great brawl to participate in if you're not usually into these kinds of things. Just make sure to accept the quest from your adventure guide for the artifact power, a loot box, and some marks of honor for a win. Remember, you can now turn in 5 marks of honor for a bonus loot roll, so there are some raiding incentives for PvP now, even if only minor. And finally, Felmist server was shut down. Now, this is actually some private server news, and I don't plan on making this a reoccurring thing. A guy worked for four years on a Burning Crusade private server in order to actually have all of the quests and dungeon bosses working correctly. And four hours after his server went live, he got hit with a takedown notice and took down the server. Now, private servers get taken down all the time, as they are pretty much textbook copyright infringement. But what's different about this one is that the guy making it told all of his supporters that he had a plan to deal with the legal issues, and people would defend him saying, do you think someone would waste four years of their life making something without a backup plan? And the answer to that was yes, absolutely. And with that, I'll see you all next week.